there is what they use to uh, drill holes to put dynamite in the ground. And they got these tire mats over here that they lay over the spot they're going to blast. Pretty neat. So we're just sitting here this morning waiting on them to get a weld ready for us. They were going to blast this creek, this rock up here. Uh, this terrain up here is real rocky a lot, you know, on creek bottom and stuff. So they, they usually go through here and blast, you know, that rock. That way they can get that ditch dug, you know, a lot easier. And uh, it's a footage, footage I just showed you guys of that thing that drills the holes. I, I don't know, I ain't never been around the blast so much dynamite but it's pretty neat so uh so anyway they're not going to get that blast today i guess it's too wet from what they're saying so we're going to go down the road and make a weld up on the bank but uh somebody in a comment the other day asked what what why we were grinding it's just the first pass we put in we grind it just to keep it clean technically you don't have to but you know we do because we have time you know so anyway it's just after that first pass put the bead in and we and we grind it and uh, they were just wondering what the purpose of it was. And I'm... Yeah, generally, <clears throat> you grind down the knots. Remember, if you start, we'll have a big hump on it. And when you're trying to hop past, you can't really... I mean, you can, but hop passing over that hump, you can have deep wagon tracks on both sides of it. So it's generally a good idea to at least grind that down so they got a nice smooth surface for them for to, to work down and burn all the wagon tracks out with. Yeah, that first pass, the bead, that's focused on welding the inside of that pipe. So, I mean, you're you're practically dragging it. I mean, not all the time. You do whatever you got to do to get that bead, but it's what you're focused on is welding the back side of that pipe. So, therefore, the the part that is towards you, it's real deep undercut, technically, if you were to zoom in on it. It's real deep undercut, so... that footage gives you guys an idea of why we grind the bead so maybe that gives you guys a little bit more insight those of you that are not familiar with uh, welding pipe or anything any more questions would be great I'd be more than happy to answer any more questions like that uh, that's probably gonna be it for today I enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it I'm working on getting this GoPro by the way I'm filming on a GoPro right now notice the frame is a little bit bigger I tried putting in a welding hood but it doesn't I didn't have it set up just right so I'm working on that just so it can so maybe I can get show you guys different uh, lenses the new lenses I got them wins lenses I got two different ones and hopefully I can get this GoPro hooked up to where you guys can see the color of that puddle looking through both lenses so look forward to that whenever I get something set up and uh, We'll see you guys next Friday. Thank you guys for coming along. And uh, remember, learn something every day. We'll see you all next week.